We can now directly access the internal SSD and SD card of the Steam Deck from a Windows PC, which makes transferring files between PC and Steam Deck easier than ever. So this method will work in both gaming mode and desktop mode. If you have a Windows handheld gaming PC, this will make the file transfer so easy with the Steam Deck. If you ask me about the speed of the file transfer with this method, I copied a 30GB file directly from Windows to the Steam Deck SD card. Then I copied the exact same file from an external SSD into the Steam Deck SD card. So here is my result. Moving a 30GB file directly from Windows to Steam Deck will take 27 minutes and 42 seconds. With an external SSD, it will only take 15 minutes and 42 seconds which is 12 minutes less than a direct transfer from Windows. Remember that we must first transfer the file from Windows or a Mac to an external SSD, which will take about 15 to 20 minutes. If we add all the time together, transferring files directly from Windows to Steam Deck actually consume less time. I mean, even it takes almost the same time as an external SSD, from Windows to Steam Deck direct transfer file without extra hardware, it is just so convenient. The only problem with this MTP file transfer is that we need to turn on this feature again every time after rebooting the Steam Deck. Now I will show how to make this happen on your Steam Deck. First, we need to switch to desktop mode and open your Firefox internet browser. Then type in Decky Loader in the search bar. Click the first search result. Then click the download button from here. Open the download file in the folder and double click and run this installer file. Then type in your sudo password. If you do not have a sudo password, the installer will set up a temporary password for you. Click OK after you type in your sudo password. Then select the released version and click OK again. The installation process now starts. After it is done, we can switch back to gaming mode. Then press the quick access button. We will see a new plug icon show up at the last row. Click on that, then select this icon and press button A. Then we need to look for DAC MTP to install. Click install after you find it. Confirm this installation again. Now we have the MTP plugin installed, but this is not working right now. We need to do some changes to the BIOS configuration in order to have this feature work. Let's quickly shut down the Steam Deck. Make sure your Steam Deck is completely turned off. Press the volume plus button first, then press the power button. Once you hear the beep sounds, release both buttons together. Steam Deck will boot into the boot manager. From here, select Setup Utility, then go to Advanced, select USB Configuration, then go to USB Dual Root Device, make sure we change to DRD here. Press the Select button to save this change, and the Steam Deck will now reboot. Once we get into the gaming mode, press the Quick Access button. Now we will be able to turn on the MTP feature under the Decky Loader. From now on, we can just simply plug the Steam Deck into a Windows PC with a USB cable to transfer files between two devices.